بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تو جیسے ہم ڈسکس کر رہے تھے ٹرانزیشن میٹلس کو تو جس میں ہم نے کرومیم کو ڈسکرائب کیا ہے کہ کرومیم کی جو ویریبل آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ ہے یہ کون سی اسٹیبل ہے اور پھر اس میں ہم نے اس کے جو امپارٹنٹ کمپاؤنڈس ڈسکرائب کیے تھے ایز اے کرومیٹ اینڈ آئی کرومیٹ بوتھ آر ان دا پلس سکس آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ دیٹ ہاؤ دے چینج دی کرومیٹ ان ٹو دی ڈائی کرومیٹ آر وائس ورسا آر ان دا ریورس ری ایکشن بائی دی ایڈیشن آف آئیدر بیس آر ایسڈ ٹو ڈے ول ول ڈسکرائب ود دی نیو ٹرانزیشن میٹل دیٹ از مینگنیز ایم این وی ول ڈسکرائب دی مینگنیز دی ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹرانزیشن میٹل وچ از اباؤٹ ان دا مڈل آف دی تھری ڈی ٹرانزیشن سیریز وی ول ڈسکس دی مینگنیز ان ٹرمز آف آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ نمبر ٹو سمپل ریئیکشنس آف ایم این ٹو نمبر تھری کے ایم این او فور ایز این آکسیڈائزنگ ایجنٹ ان بوتھ آرگینک کیمسٹری اینڈ ٹائٹریشن سو وی ول ڈسکرائب دی مینگنیز ود ریسپیکٹ ٹو اٹس آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ دین سم سمپل ریئیکشنس اینڈ دا کے ایم این او فور ایز این آکسیڈائزنگ ایجنٹ بوتھ ان آرگینک کیمسٹری اینڈ ان دی ٹائٹریشن ناؤ دی فسٹ آف آل وی ول ڈسکرائب دی آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ مینگنیز ایگزسٹ ان اے نمبر آف آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹس فرام پلس ٹو ٹو پلس سیون دی موسٹ اسٹیبل آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹس آف مینگنیز آر پلس ٹو پلس فور اینڈ پلس سیون پلس ٹو پلس فور اینڈ پلس سیون فار ایگزامپل کے ایم این او فور ہیئر اٹ از ان پلس سیون آکسیڈیشن اسٹیٹ ایم این او ٹو اٹ از پلس فور اینڈ ایم این ایس او فور اٹ از پلس ٹو دیز آر دی موسٹ اسٹیبل دیٹ از پلس سیون پلس فور اینڈ پلس ٹو ہیئر اٹ از پرپل کلر دس از بلیک and this is light pink so these are the that uh, in general the manganese exist in a number of oxidation states from plus 2 to plus 7 the most stable oxidation states they are plus 2 plus 4 and plus 7 for example in plus 7 it is potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7 it is purple violet mno2 manganese dioxide this is black and mnso4 this is a light pink so these are the different uh, oxidation states and the most stable they are plus 2 plus 4 and plus 7 now the kmno4 is a, is used is a powerful oxidizing agent and the course of reaction occurs in alkaline neutral and acidic conditions so this uh, work as a strong oxidizing agent and it activity may be under the condition of acidic basic or neutral the course of oxidation that occurs in alkaline neutral and acidic solution in alkaline solution kmno4 first reduces to mn plus 6 and then into plus 4 now this is a uh, here it is uh, plus 7 in this case mn o4 k2 it is plus 6 and plus 4 mn o2 it is plus now 2 kmno4 plus 2 koh gives k2 mno4 now this is uh, basically a reduction here it is uh, 
plus 7 here it is plus 6 now this is purple and this is green so first uh, it uh, changes into the plus 7 into plus 6 now in this case this potassium that is here it is uh, plus 6 and here it is plus 4 this is green and this is black so this is how that how the potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7 changes its uh, uh, or how it reduces first into the plus 6 and then plus 6 reduces to plus 4. This is uh, in alkaline conditions. Now in case of in acidic condition the MnO4 minus 1 reduces to Mn2 plus. So here the oxidation state is uh, plus 7. It is going to change into, it is going to reduce into plus 2. Now the reaction can be represented. Now in acidic condition, the permanganate here, it is uh, plus 7 and here it is plus 2. It is purple, it is light pink. Now here it is plus 7 and this is plus 2. So this is in case of uh, acidic condition. Uh, here it is the in case of alkaline. So how does the potassium permanganate act as an oxidizing agent? The course of its oxidation reaction depends upon whether the conditions are alkaline. They may be neutral or they may be acidic. But more importantly, it is used uh, in organic chemistry in the alkaline solution, whereas the <clears throat> titration they involve the acidic condition for the oxidizing property of potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7. In general, KMnO4 oxidizes ferrous sulfate in acidic condition. The ionic reaction can be stated as that is Km, Km, MnO4 minus 1 plus Fe plus 2 plus 8H2 H positive Fe plus 3 2Mn2 plus plus 4H2. Now this is a oxidizing agent. It oxidizes this Fe plus 2 into Fe plus 3. So this is another redox reaction that how the potassium permanganate oxidizes the Fe plus, Fe plus 2 or that is simply you can describe here Fe SO4. Now the potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7 is used as a, a strong oxidizing agent and the course of reaction usually that is uh, the course of oxidation reaction may occur in the presence of acidic or basic or the neutral uh, sense we can use it as in the alkaline medium that is it can be used as alkaline medium for the organic chemistry and uh, in acidic condition it is usually described as uh, in the uh, titration it is used as in the acidic conditions. Now the potassium per manganate can be made alkaline by adding sodium carbonate solution. The color changes can be described as you can also use ammonia as well for example MnO4 minus 1 into MnO4 to minus into MnO2. Now here it is uh, in oxidation state 7. So oxidation state plus 7. The color is purple. Now here the oxidation state is plus 6 and the color is uh, green. Here the oxidation state is plus 4. The oxidation state is plus 4, but its color is 
black so here the conditions they are basic now the conditions they are alkaline so potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7 can be utilized as the that how it uh, changes its uh, color when something is oxidizing agent it oxidizes other here it is going to reduce plus 7 reduces to plus 6 and plus 6 reduces to plus 4 itself now there are certain reactions there are some other examples for oxidation on using KmNO4 as an oxidizing agent in general for example you can oxidize fe 2 plus into fe 3 plus h2o2 into o2 plus 2h positive plus 2 electrons if you have oxalic acid 2 co2 plus 2h positive plus 2 electrons similarly so 3 2 minus so 4 2 minus plus 2h positive plus 2 electron now in this case that it is oxidizing from plus 2 to plus 3 similarly in other cases here it is plus 4 into plus 6 so these are the uh, uh, different uh, reaction when you use uh, certain oxidizing agents so these are the different uh, reactions there are so many other reaction where the kmno4 is utilized as oxidizing agent now testing for carbon carbon double bond that is byers test KMnO4 acts as oxidizing agent to test carbon carbon double bond in ethene and goes to color change and goes to color change to KMnO4 Mn the overall reaction now this uh, basically uh, test is to check whether there is a present presence of double bond or the bio test is widely used to test the unsaturation in fact the that whether the double bond is there or not so kmno4 is here acting as a oxidizing agent the this is the reaction 1 and this is reaction 2 and then the overall reaction you can describe that this is the oxidizing agent here is the double bond here it is a single bond so the color changes that this purple color is changed into colorless or it becomes black here what is happening that it is oxidizing this one but itself is going to reduce from plus 7 to plus 4 oxidation state this is how that it act as an oxidizing agent now the reaction with hydrazine and 2h4 now the action of oxidizing agent that is kmno4 here when we treat the potassium permanganate with sulfuric acid it gives k2so4 plus mnso4 plus water plus oxygen this basic oxygen is used as oxidizing agent that how the kmno4 act as an oxidizing agent now multiplied by 2 or 5 this is basically the multipliers which are used to balance the number of electron gained or number of electron lost the overall reaction can be described as now the 4 KMnO4 plus 5 N2 H4 plus 6 H2SO4 gives 5 N2 plus 10 H2O. Now this is uh, the overall reaction. Now this uh, is plus 7 purple in color. 
this KMnO4. Here it is plus 2. This is a light pink. So here K MnO4, potassium manganate 7 or potassium permanganate is acting as an oxidizing agent. It is going to oxidize this hydrazine into nitrogen, whereas it itself is going to reduce from plus 7 to plus 2 oxidation state. That how this basically act as an oxidizing agent. Now the oxidation of aromatic side chain. The alkaline KMnO4 oxidizes the side chain of an aromatic compound. Alkaline KMnO4 oxidizes the side chain of an aromatic compound. For example, toluene that is oxidized into benzoic acid. Benzoic acid. Basically, the methyl is oxidized into carboxyl group. This can be described by the reaction that if you have this is toluene and you take KMnO4 as oxidizing agent, this is basically alkaline. It changes to carboxyl benzoic acid plus water. So, in case you can say in general that if uh, the group com is composed of more than carbon, for example, you can have here CH2, CH3, even then this will be oxidized under the same conditions into benzoic acid. So, the length of side change is not here question, but it is oxidized into carboxyl group. So, these are the oxidation reactions of different compounds whether for testing the double bond or by oxidizing the hydrazine and the third one that is for aromatic side chain reactions. Now, in general we can summarize uh, these oxidation reactions as, as, uh, as I have said earlier. Ke ye jo KMnO4 hai, jo mara a powerful oxidizing agent hai. Isko hum, jo isko course of oxidation reaction hai, wo different conditions mein kaam karta hai. Usme acidic bhi aap media, uh, condition le sakte hai, basic bhi le sakte hai, aur neutral bhi le sakte hai. To isko hum as a oxidizing agent, organic chemistry mein bhi use karte hai, titrations mein bhi use karte hai. To jaise humne pehle isko describe kiya, yahan pe hum jo baat kar rahe hai, ke ye jo oxidizing agent hai, Isko as a bio test hum use kar sakte Bio test basically hota hai to check the unsaturation in the organic compound. For example, in case of ethene, there is a double bond which indicates its unsaturation. So, we can check it with the color change. Similarly, in case of hydrazine, we can oxidize it. And the third which was the oxidation of aromatic side chain. Is similar ye ke agar benzene ring ke upar koi alkyl group laga hua hai, whether that contain one carbon or more carbon, it will oxidize into carboxyl group. So, this was all about the oxidizing agent and till then Allah is Assalamu alaikum.